We're running a little bit late, but today my mentor is going to be tattooing my knees. Uh, I'll fill you in on the way in. So I've been wanting my knees done for a minute now, maybe like the past couple of years, but I don't know. I just haven't found the right artist or the subject to do it, but since I started this tattoo apprenticeship, made access to it a lot easier. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, supposedly the knees hurt a lot just because you can feel the bone going through everything. All my tattoos right now are in not easy areas, but more fleshy areas, so I don't know. This one I don't think I'm going to be talking too much. I'm on my way to the shop right now. Some people actually say they get sick after a tattoo. I haven't had that happen to me, but I can see how it would happen. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. This one will definitely be high on the pain meter. Yeah, hi salsa. Are you ready to get destroyed? Destroyed, literally. Is Derek nice? Yes. I need to wait until I'm in the mood. Okay, so like a little bit of context for what's going on. So my mentor Denise is gonna tattoo my knee. I've actually been bugging her about it for a while, but I didn't think she was actually gonna do it. So at this point, she's just finishing up the design. You'll see in a second, but it went from like a kneecap tattoo to something like way bigger. Uh, and I also cut myself shaving. So enjoy. I cut myself shaving. You throw this one away, there's a lot of his hair on it. But no blood, right? Oh my god. <laughs> you gave me some camera. What is it? <laughs> he was bleeding. Wow. Definitely a little bigger than I thought. It looks good. Okay, so obviously it ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. She actually didn't even ask me if it was okay. She just printed it out bigger and said, oh, this looks cool. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And honestly, I didn't film too much of the tattoo just cause like, once you see the first part, it's kind of the same thing over and over. Start with the least Work my way. I'm only gonna hurt you. Oh, that's good. Hi, Faye. So now at this point, everyone else is left. Uh, it's around 8.30 p.m., which is late for our shop. And I'll get into like how much it hurt in a second, but I think you can tell because I just started rambling a little bit. You wanna know why it was my favorite song? Not really. Okay, because it was in a paintball video and someone did it like a, like a mock. Maybe she never told me that. Okay. All right, it is the next day. I, I just basically came home, took a shower, cleaned it off and went to bed. So I figured before I forget, I was gonna go over like the different pain levels. And this was just for lines. So my opinions might change with shading. On the side here where we actually did start, this was like a two or a three, it was actually pretty easy. Once you got to the shin bone, uh, that was a little bit more spicy. Call that like three, four, five. And then moving up to right below the kneecap, that's where it started getting like a little bit spicier. So I would say that was like a five, six, seven. I don't have any of the other crazy painful areas, which I hear are like the neck, the armpit. And for me, like the kneecap ended up being like the most painful spot I've gotten a tattoo so far. And the smaller liners actually for me hurt more. But once I came up here, even though it's like the inner thigh, so I would say that was like more like a three, four. But yeah, overall pretty cool experience, basically getting what I wanted out of a knee tattoo. So I don't know when the next session is going to happen but i'll try and record uh when we put either color black and gray in